Hey everybody, Robert Van Valkenburg here at Kogan Dojo trying to fix the, the camera. I'm here with Mateo Nunez. Hey guys, how are you? Coming out to teach a lasso guard uh, workshop tonight. Guest instructor Mondays, every Monday night at Kogan Dojo, 8 o'clock. Try to bring the best instructors from Maryland, D.C., Virginia, all over the area um, out here. Uh, I met Mateo at Mike Stewart's um, fundraiser for Puerto Rico when they had the really bad storm. A lot of gyms closed up over there, and uh, Mike and Mateo helped to raise a bunch of money to get uh, new mats for a school, an entire new mat set up for the school through Fuji. Uh, shout out to Fuji, uh, who <laughs> matted up our place as well. Um, nice green to Tommy. And so I wanted to have Mateo out, come out and, and teach a class. I really liked the seminar that he taught out there for the fundraiser. Um, Mateo, when did you start doing jiu-jitsu? Uh, I originally started with Mari Yamasaki uh, back in 1998, but then I only stayed for a little while because my daughter was born, so, you know, like everything, you kind of have to take a sidestep from something that you love you know, for priorities, so then I, did, I went back in 2007 with his brother, uh, Fernando, and then I started with, or I, I was with him until about 2012, and then when I went to Abon Barbosa, and, you know, injuries here and there, but, you know, still going strong, so been continuing you know so with everything else going on what makes you stick to jujitsu uh well man it's it's just it, it doesn't you don't you don't stop learning it's like yeah. you're not capped you know there's no ceiling to it you know it's all what you make it and then you know every it changes every day the game changes it evolves and you have to evolve with it because otherwise you're a step behind you know and that's what i love i just i love keeping up with the times and i love learning new things you know and uh, it's the beauty of it to me. I get to meet great people like yourself and Thanks. your students and, and go, you know, different places. And, you know, I, I love that. You get to share your knowledge and meet great people and, and do something you love. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Nice. So um, I know right now one of your big focuses is Lasso Guard. So what kind of made you fall in love or, or kind of get involved with Lasso Guard? And what, what, what do you like about it that uh, makes you focus on that in your, in your jiu-jitsu game? Well, uh, I mean, I, I started, well, excuse me, Abmar introduced me, Abmar Barboza introduced it to me a couple of years ago, um, and I'd just been working out the kinks throughout the years, you know, obviously with him showing me the way, uh, but it's powerful, you know, you, you, you can control somebody, and, you know, once you get it in, it's, you know, it's, it, it's, it makes their life a living hell, you know, and they're focusing on so many other things like every other position right it's not necessarily like go this is my go-to position this is just another tool uh down the avenue you know to to get to where i need to be and i, I think it's you know something that's very secure very solid guard and uh it works for me so um you know uh, i definitely you know I, I i use it when i can and where if i see it i get into it you know when i can i utilize it my tax defense so uh, you're, you said that you train mainly with Abmar Barbosa, and yes. that's in Tyson's? Yeah, so we, we, uh, we're in Tyson's Corner, Abmar Barbosa, uh, and his wife, Marisha, Garrett Beck, uh, Patrick Tenney, and uh, Josh Aguero, uh, all black belts at the academy, but Abmar's academy is, the main academy is right there in Tyson's Corner where we train at. So. Do you know the contact info, website, address, anything like that yeah. on the top of your head? Yeah, at Bar Barboza BJJ. Um, just look for it in Tyson's Corner. If you're around the area, if you take Metro, uh, we're right off the Silver Line. We're just a couple blocks off the Silver Line. Uh, we have open mats on Saturdays, so it's open to everybody. Uh, anybody who's anybody from any academy, no politics, no, no stuff like that, you're welcome to come. Um, from 11 to 2.30, uh, classes are during the week. Monday through Friday. Uh, Friday we have a marathon roll, so you know, definitely good. If you want to pass by, look us up online. Um, you know, Instagram, Facebook, same thing. At Mar Bar Barboza BJJ. Cool. And yeah. do you have anything coming up soon that you're wanting to promote? Um, no, I mean, well, well, there's a fight to win. Uh, I don't know if I'll be in it yet, but hopefully, uh, more than likely. Uh, but just you know, the academy and ourselves, our students, you know, a great bunch of guys, gals over there. Always looking to learn, you know, definitely with, uh, you know, looking to meet new people and come on by and you're always welcome. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for coming out. And uh, sure. like I said, uh, we have Guest Instructor Monday every Monday night at 8 o'clock at Kogan Dojo in Severna Park, 549 Baltimore Annapolis Boulevard, www.kogandojo.com. Uh, we're affiliated with Gracie Jiu-Jitsu Maryland. 
um, which Hells and Gracie. Hells and Gracie Jiu Jitsu. That's right. We represent. <laughs> and you have a nice shirt. I like represent it. Thanks, Hells Mike. and Gracie Jiu Jitsu. Yeah. I see Mike is watching. Shout yeah. out to Mike Stewart and his brother Jordan. Shout um, out, Mike, for uh, for having us on board and part of the team and for introducing me to Mateo through um, th through the uh, the fundraiser for Puerto Rico. Uh, if you're interested in Hells and Gracie Jiu Jitsu in Maryland, affiliates. Finksburg, Columbia, Severna Park, uh, realjujitsu.com to go to Columbia or Finksburg, kogandojo.com, come down to Severna Park. Uh, we are the only school in Anne Arundel County teaching Gracie self-defense as the primary focus for our jiu-jitsu school. But as you see, Mateo is here. There's a lot of sports jiu-jitsu, which we, you know, we embrace that too. And more so, we're just trying to expand our palette and and uh, kind of get to know what the jiu-jitsu game is because it's good to know, even if, even if we're focused on self-defense, it's good to know what other people are doing so we know what it looks like when, you know, when they're bringing it to the table in competition or, or whatever. Um, more importantly, we're trying to build a community. Uh, we're trying to build a community of jiu-jitsu practitioners in the area, an open environment um, that is embraces all kinds of jiu-jitsu, all kinds of people. Uh, we really want to have um, a school, a community that... Uh, that is open um, and that's why we bring in all these great uh, great people from all over the place you know from uh, Mateo lives in Rockville trains in Tyson's you know I live around here um, go out to Columbia sometimes train with those guys bring people in from all over Maryland DC Virginia uh, anybody that wants to come out teach a class just hit me up uh, or hit us up uh, if you want to recommend anybody to come out and teach a class somebody you want to see out here then, then give us a shout. Thank you very much for coming oh, thank out, Mateo. You for having me. Looking so, forward to. Yep, looking forward to the class. class. Yeah. Here comes, here comes Bowie. Let's see if we can get Bowie to. Bowie. Oh, sorry. Say, say hi. Sorry. Say hi. Hi guys. Hi. Uh, <laughs> All right. Class. We need to grab it's a geek. Time for class. Good night. <laughs> time for class, guys.